हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज सक्षम दीक्षित एंड दिस इज माय चैनल पेंटेस डायरीज सो टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू द सेम सीरीज एंड डिस्कस अबाउट द रिक्वायर्ड कंपोनेंट फॉर लैब सेटअप सो एज पर द फर्स्ट लेक्चर व्हिच आई हैव ऑलरेडी शेयर विद यू इन दैट व्हाट एग्जिट द रेटिमिंग इज इट आई विल ट्राई टू गेट एक्सप्लेन इन दिस सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट ट्यूटोरियल इज अ रिक्वायर्ड कंपोनेंट फॉर द लैब सेटअप so in this uh, i just want to cover it what are the components we required it to make our setup ready on our local system itself okay so the first thing we required is a storage storage is the main thing which is required then we required a ram uh, i just include the ram i just whatever the ram is just mentioned over there i will let you know like what actually the ram you required on your base system also uh, then the processor then the operating system and uh, the last one is a virtualization platform so now individually i'll just go inside of each and every component and i'll try to explain you what actually the preference point and what actually i'm using on my system so that if you're planning to upgrade your systems or anything you want to do it you can take it as a reference okay so the first thing is a storage over here so storage is the main most important thing uh, in our uh, in our lab setup itself so i can say that if a person is using hsd hdd then in that case uh, most of the time we are not getting a uh, proper speed or the performance is not up to the mark in case if you preferring with the ssd then in that case we are getting a better speed but i can say that um, for the lab setup you required almost 400 to 500 gb space a uh, preferable one is the ssd one i can say that and on my system also you can see that uh, this is the one i'm i'm using as a primary drive on my system itself so uh, it's a 1 terabyte i'm using other than that other stuffs i'm using i'm using uh, ssd also on my system i'm also using um, ssd of 256 gb so multiple stuffs in inside of my system itself but other than the primary disk is of 1 terabyte itself i'm using i will um, the link of the amazon i'll just have uh, just after this tutorial i'll share it in my comment section you can see that or in the description i'll put it there directly uh, if you want to if you want to purchase you can take it directly from uh, this link itself uh, then we go for the ram <coughs> after the storage i can say that the, the ram is also a most important thing as the thing is that it's a random access memory so we required that it's appropriate then only uh, Our process will be a bit faster. So, uh, as per the requirement, we require 25 to 30 GB of RAM. And in case of RAM, I can say that the <clears throat> preference one is a DDR4 or DDR5. Uh, you can prefer with a DDR3 also, but uh, the preference will be a DDR4 and DDR5. And on my system, I am having 48 GB DDR4. in case of processor uh, you can pick any processor but um, uh, the preference will be a four core processor and uh, intel and amd anything you can prefer with that but um, on my system i am using a intel i7 processor with six core so um, the performance is as per that itself so you have to consider it, uh, preferring with the intel one if you have the amd it's okay like uh, you can prefer whether with the amd also you can get the performance but like whatever the performance you getting in case of intel like i'm not sure whether you will get it in in case of amd also now the operating system which is the most important part so the base system with operating operating system 10 or 8.1 i can say that the base system of your system should require um, operating system 10 and 8.1 anything like that on on the top of of that you can install any virtualization and uh, in that inside of it uh, you can uh, you can install start installing your servers 2009 2016 window 10 current linux for the attacking system those things you can cover even i have shared the links uh, from where you can uh, you can download the free uh, free iso files to get it installed and um, it's a uh, it's it's a free trial such setup is available on the microsoft official sites so you can download it you can evaluate so those things you can do it i have i will share these things also with you on the description section now the major part is a virtualization platform so <laughs> at the time when i am preparing for it and at the time i am creating a lab for me itself just to get it prepared then at the time i have tried multiple combination so earlier i have tried with the vmware only i have installed everything on the vmware itself separately i am creating a servers and everything 
and on the virtual box also i've tried but vmware is a preference one for me as the vmware is working bit faster and approved thing is uh, everything is appropriate if you have a proper hardware everything is working fine for you on vmware uh, if you have a limitation then in that case you can go for the virtual box but i don't like virtual box much uh, on my system i am using virtual box um, I'm not using VirtualBox. I'm using virtualization platform as a VMware workstation and even the Hyper-V. Hyper-V I'm using inside of the VMware workstation. So at the time of um, installation and everything, I'll explain you how to make it the setup like that and how to get it configured Hyper-V inside of the uh, VMware workstation to uh, to get it working. Okay, so these are the options I can say that over here. It's in case of virtualization. Uh, so these are the only things I'll just uh, I'll just try to get it covered with you. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time. If you want to connect with me, please access below mentioned link of LinkedIn and you can visit me my blog. Thank you so much.